Hey guys, in today's lesson video, we're going to talk about how to stay centered in the golf swing. So we have to stay centered in the golf swing so we could be more on top of the golf ball and to have a really good impact to compress the golf ball and to have good timing, etc, etc, etc. So we don't ever want to sway off the golf ball. We don't want to get our upper body to move off the golf ball as well because if we move off, the chances of us falling back into the perfect position is highly unlikely and it's going to cause a big timing issue. So what we have to realize is, first I'm going to talk a little bit more about how to stay centered, what our body pivot has to do, and then I'm going to give you guys a great upper body feel and a great lower body feel so you guys can combine those two feels together to have a really good centered pivot. So what we have to realize is, in the golf swing, since our body has to stay centered and rotate as well, we have to move our upper body and our lower body in the opposite direction because we're not a rotisserie chicken, we're not a kebab, so we can't rotate perfectly and stay centered at the same time. We can't just keep rotating around and around. So what we have to do is, if I drop the golf club for a second, my upper body has to rotate a little bit off the golf ball naturally in this manner. My left side is going to go under my right chin in this manner, in this side. And my lower body is going to work towards the target and it's going to work around me in this manner and it's going to work towards the target. So if I over exaggerate, my upper body is going to rotate off the golf ball and my lower body is going to rotate around and towards the target in this manner. But if we combine those two fields, we're going to stay very centered. So those two things are going to offset each other. So for example, I just have a head cover here. If this was a towel and if I was to try to get and squeeze the water out of the towel, I'm squeezing in opposite directions. However, this thing, this towel is staying very centered. So just like this concept, our lower body and upper body has to work in the opposite direction so we can stay centered. We can't just try to ro perfectly rotate and try to stay centered because that's not how our body works. So a great upper body feel is if we grab the golf club in this manner, just place it on both of my palms out in front of me, it's going to feel like we're just rocking a baby back and forth in this manner. This is what our upper body should feel like. Almost as if, if, we're, if we're moving boxes, if there was someone to the left of me and two, someone to the right, I'm going to receive the box and since the box is very heavy, I'm not going to just throw it with my arms. I'm just going to rotate this box to the next person. So it's going to feel like this. It's just body rotation, and it's going to feel like we're rotating around our spine angle. And it's almost going to feel like, ever so slightly, my upper body could feel like it's moving a little bit off the golf ball. Because remember, our lower body is working in the opposite direction, and we're going to offset those two to get into a center pivot. We don't want to have a center pivot with the upper body by reverse pivoting, tilting towards the target. We still want to rotate around our spine angle. And a great feel for our lower body is, is that for most amateurs, when they sway off the golf ball, their pressure in their feet, if you take a look at my trail foot, the pressure in the feet tends to go towards the outside part and they sway off to the right for a right-handed golfer. So what I'll recommend is, is that the pressure in your trail foot always has to stay on the inside part. So a great drill and a great feel for your lower body is put a golf ball on the outside part of your foot in this manner on your trail side and make the same center pivot where your lower body rotates around this way and towards the target and my upper body ever so slightly moves off the golf ball. And it's going to feel like with this ball underneath the outside part of my trail foot, it's going to feel like I'm staying very centered and it's going to feel very powerful. And from this position, if I lift up my lead side leg, I'm just going to fall into my lead side again. So it's going to be very beneficial for those golfers who get to, into this really good position because if I lift up my lead leg, I'm almost falling into my lead side and that's going to help you compress the golf ball a lot better. So remember these things when you're trying to stay centered and I guarantee you, you'll have a center pivot. 
So if you liked the lesson video, please like and subscribe to help my channel grow. And for all my lessons on Skillless, I'll leave a link in the description below. And I also teach in person in Seoul, South Korea. So I will also leave the information in the description below. Thanks guys.